Hi, welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. I'm Kara, and today we're taking inspiration from this adorable tote. It's a canvas tote bag called You're Just My Type of Tote. <laughs> so it features this typewriter from You're Just My Type, and he's got that cute smiley face and the pink cheeks, and the top row of keys has the little heart. So we're going to recreate that and you can see I have a piece of white cardstock and then I have the speckled eggshell which is really close to this canvas so I love that because I can make it look more like the tote with this. So I am cutting out two panels of the reveal wheel and the top one will have the square add-on placed in it so I cut that out and then the reveal wheel out of the same speckled eggshell and then just a piece of white for the little wheel and an arrow out of rainforest cardstock. I have an inside out stitch scallop square in speckled eggshell and here are the square stencils for the reveal wheel and that is the square from the coordinating dies of You're Just My Type which is this stamp set. We'll use the typewriter and also Milo's ABCs. I really wanted that scallop square just to kick it up a notch and so I needed to cut a square inside the square for my paper to show through and so where where do I put that well I put that on the back uh, on the back panel and then I'm just making sure with my ruler see the zero in the middle I'm making sure that everything is uh, centered and then I'm placing the front panel over that directly and make sure it's all lined up and then lightly with a pencil I'm just tracing through that square and I want to make sure it's where I want it so I'm putting the stamp over it just to make sure I've got it all kind of centered there and I did so I cut it out with the square and it just goes over the square that's on the front panel and it's great worked perfect all right so now for the sentiment and I've already loaded up the sentiment uh, in the misty this is Milo's ABC's and I just put them each on the line and the stamps themselves are rectangles so they just butt up next to each other and uh, that worked great so I I'm trying to figure out where I want to place that so I'm just putting it down it looks like I need to move my paper over to the right <laughs> so I did that and I wanted to put that typewriter back up there just to make sure everything was where I wanted it and it is so I'm taking some jet black ink and inking that up and I will stamp this, I will ink and stamp this three times. I just wanted to make sure I had a nice bold impression. So Lawn Fawn has a few new tote bags out and uh, I just, I love this one with the typewriter because it's animated. It's just, it's just, it has a smiley face. It's just such a sweet, simple look. And that's what I'm going for here on the card as well. So now I'm placing that typewriter where I think it needs to be stamped and I'm pulling away the top reveal wheel panel and then I'll put that, I want to keep those letters in my Misty in case I mess something up and I need to stamp it again. So I just moved it up and I'm stamping higher up in the Misty with this typewriter. And again, I stamped this one three times just to get that same uh, bold impression that I had in my sentiment. And now I almost forgot to put on the keys with the heart. But, phew, I remembered. And uh, what I love about these keys is you could have just a top row of regular keys or this heart or there's even a smiley face and little cheeks for it as well so it's very clever but we're going to use the heart because that's what's on our tote bag and also the smiley face will come in the paper so 
I'm going to color that up and the little heart is an RV10. And then I found what Copic markers I thought would match up well with the colors in the tote and I'm looking off to the side at the tote to decide what gets colored what color and uh, so this is the BG 45 and that's all inside the keys and then the typewriter itself will be a BG 49 and the rest of it is going to be that speckled eggshell so just finishing up the coloring here and uh, no shading today uh, just plain old coloring uh, with one color each and so it looks like the printed typewriter on the tote bag all right well it's time to put this wheel together and I'm putting the brad through the back of the little wheel, the little circle, and then through the back of the reveal wheel and open up that brad. Make sure it turns well and then I can put some foam squares on the little circle and making sure that it doesn't touch the brad. I even have a pink brad but you'll never see that. It's just that I had a lot of colorful brads. All right, so now where do I place it on here? And there are some marks where you could use to, to figure it out, but this uh, stencil works great for figuring out where to put it, uh, the wheel because uh, once I put that on the wheel itself, I can put the uh, the window, the square window, up against the square in the stencil and take off my release paper and then just place it down on the back panel because that stencil is right where you would want to see uh, whatever you're going to stamp in there. And so now that I have that placed down, I can pull up my front panel and I'm just checking to make sure that you can see all the squares and of course you can. So I can take off that wheel and stencil and have it ready to start stamping. Now there are two different stencils for the square wheel. Well, I think for a, a lot of these uh, stencils, there's either a, an option to do three openings or four and I'm choosing the three this time because there are two smiley faces in the you're just my type stamp set so I wanted those two and then I just wanted the, the last one to say hi so that it was simple and kind of followed along with the look that I was going for uh, simple like the tote so I Put in the two smiley faces and here's the word hi and now it's time to put it on those cheeks so i'm getting out the ballet slippers ink and i have those cheeks and i wasn't sure i'm gonna look at it for a minute ink it up and stamp it down and uh i think it's a little high so i'll come back to that but this one is right where I wanted it. So, so cute. So I inked up those cheeks one last time and put them a little bit lower, just a tiny bit lower on, on his face. So he's just got a little bit more cheek than the other one. All right, now I can put that wheel onto the base. And so stick that through the brad and then I'll open up that brad and then make sure that it spins nicely. Here we go. And then I'll cover the rest of the back with foam tape and it's the same height as the foam I put on the circle in the back so it will be at the right height. And I just put that all around the circle but not touching the circle so that it moves freely. Well, it has to be said, uh, but this card is totes adorbs. All right, well, my teenage daughters would die if they heard me say that. Mom, 
No one says that. I know. I just say it to mess with them. <laughs> but they're good sports. All right. Well, we're putting some adhesive on that scallop square and lining it up on the front. And then all I need to do is take off that release paper. And I can put that front panel on the back panel. And I thought I should probably put one of the images in the middle so that I could see it. I don't know why. It just it seemed like the thing to do. So now I can put my top panel on my back panel. Make sure it's all lined up and press it down and it works. There it is. So here's our smiley faces and our word hi. And now I will put it on a piece of speckled eggshell and this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel and set it there and then I'm going to take the glue tube and just put a little glue on this little arrow. This is rainforest cardstock and I thought that went well with the color of the typewriter and then I will glue that on the side and then I'll just show the recipient that there's something to do and how to do it. There are so many fun ways to use the stamp set. You're just my type. I mean, it's got a mouse and a lamp and a desk. It's great. Um, but I just wanted to feature the typewriter today, just like the tote bag. So I adhered it onto a note card and our card is all done. Here are our happy smiling faces. And of course the word hi. And I'm focusing on the one that looks like the tote bag here. So again, here's our tote bag and the card up next to it so you can see it again. I think this would be a fun card to give someone, especially if you were giving them this tote bag to go along with it. I hope you enjoyed the video today, inspired by the you're just my type of tote. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.